Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Rishabh Savant and I'm not a financial advisor. So in this video, I want to talk about why Bitcoin is crashing. So Bitcoin has been crashing for the past two to three days. And let's look at the charts. Let's look at CoinMarketCap to see what's happening today. We can see that in the past 24 hours, it is down by 0.93%. Uh, yesterday it was down by about five to six percent so we can see a slight recovery i think that we are recovering a little bit uh, we hit fifty nine thousand yesterday but we bounced back again to sixty thousand today uh, there is a strong support at this price sixty thousand dollars and the market cap right now is 1.1 trillion dollars and in the past seven days we have been down we have been down by 12.37 percent and when bitcoin falls everything else falls ethereum fell even harder because ethereum rallied harder than bitcoin uh, in the past couple of weeks and everything in the market basically is down it's a bloodbath every other coin is obliterated let's just put it that way so everything is down so if you just google search why bitcoin is crashing why bitcoin is down you will see many articles trying to explain why this could be the possibility generally all the articles are saying pretty much the same thing so the first thing is that china continues to basically try to go hard on the crypto mining industry. The officials from the National Development and Reform Commission said in a press conference today that they will continue to crack down on mining, which likely means that one of the world's largest economies is rejecting cryptocurrency outright. Let's be honest, how many times have you heard that before? I think this is the 600th time I'm hearing this this year alone. This is just an ongoing thing. It always happens. China is always cracking down on Bitcoin. And I don't think it matters. I don't think China cracking down on Bitcoin matters at all. Look at Google. Google has a market cap of I think 1.4, 1.5 trillion dollars. It's one of the biggest, one of the most successful companies in the world. And Google is banned in China. So Google is surviving without China, isn't it? They can make money without China. I'm sure Bitcoin will be fine. And this is and China cracking down on Bitcoin has been happening for the past since Bitcoin's inception, I think. So it really doesn't matter. And the other reason is the fact that dollar is strengthening against other fiat currencies and it appears to be strengthening versus cryptocurrencies as well. So of course if the dollar strengthens uh cryptocurrencies and other fiat currencies will naturally weaken however i think this is a short-term thing uh, forbes had pretty much the same thing to say as well this is what forbes is saying it's not clear why the cryptocurrency market is crashing though there are several factors that could contribute chinese authorities renewed efforts to same thing again and the other reasoning is the infrastructure bill here which could basically potentially uh tax cryptocurrencies and regulate them so there are fears of the government intervening cryptocurrencies and taxing cryptocurrency holders and also regulating cryptocurrencies which basically defeats the purpose of cryptocurrencies right especially bitcoin it's supposed to be decentralized and uh, it should and it's supposed to not be manipulated by the government essentially so i don't think this is a strong reason either anyway and the third reason that no one is really talking about at least not on that scale is this guy here this guy is the third reason so who is this guy this guy is craig wright and he has been claiming to be the bitcoin founder satoshi nakamoto he has been claiming this since 2016 and why is he in the news again that's because the family of his alleged partner is suing him 
So this is the trial that is going on in Florida right now. And he had a partner, this guy, David Clayman. Uh, Craig Wright claims that David Clayman was his friend. However, David Clayman's family claims that David and Craig were partners, were business partners who created Bitcoin together. Now, Clayman passed away, right? Unfortunately, he passed away and Clayman's family is basically suing uh, Wright for half the fortune they made. They think that uh, they should be owners of half the fortune that was created by David and Craig. Oh, the Bitcoin community rejects Wright's claims that he is Satoshi. And the only way to prove it would be to produce the private key to the wallet that holds 1.1 million bitcoins. Now, the case is not about uh, identifying who is Satoshi. So what's going to happen is that uh, Craig, right, who claims to be Satoshi, he has to prove that Clayman was just his friend. And his family has to prove, and Clayman's family has to prove that Wright, Craig Wright, was actually Clayman's business partner. Now, what's going to happen is that if the court finds that Clayman and Wright were indeed partners, then Wright would have to basically produce the keys to this wallet that holds 1.1 million bitcoins. And if he is able to produce the keys to that wallet, then he could be Satoshi Nakamoto, essentially. He could be the creator of Bitcoin. So uh, why does this matter? The whole idea behind Bitcoin is that it's decentralized, right? So there's no person that actually owns or associated with Bitcoin. However, you when you put a face on that personality, this Satoshi Nakamoto, then uh, it just takes away that novelty of Bitcoin having an anonymous founder who is silent or has disappeared. And there's also a fear that this guy who could be holding 1.1 million bitcoins in his wallet will be flooding the market could flood the market with this huge amount of bitcoin take note that right now we only have 18 million bitcoins in circulation and we could only ever have 21 million bitcoins in circulation so 1.1 million 1.1 million out of 21 million is a substantial number and that amount of bitcoin flooding the market could significantly drive down the prices of bitcoin and that could be one of the reason why many holders are selling off right now to wait to see what are the to wait to see the results of the trial and see what happens from there so that's my take on this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that this guy could be the founder, the creator of Bitcoin. So that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.